Hello and welcome back to King Moron Productions. I'm Andrew. This is the Long Dark. We're in the Trapper's Cabin. I'm thirsty. As in actually thirsty. That's better. Okay. I just got out of a long recording session of uh, another game that you'll see on here probably before this episode even goes up, actually. Uh, ben and I, Ben from Obsidian Pixels, play a puzzle game called We Were Here, I think. I'm terrible with remembering these things. It went pretty well. We got some puzzles done. We didn't get it finished yet. I was silly, though, and the last 20 minutes of the recording, I accidentally didn't record the gameplay. Just my face. Just this little guy in the corner of the screen. So that was silly, but we got the first half an hour. And I'll be superimposing his gameplay anyway. Uh, Alright, so what are we going to do here? Um, the weather sounds okay. It's the end of the day. Uh, I've got some fish on me, haven't I? I've got the raw fish. Uh, nope, nope, I lie. <laughs> oh, I left the fish back at the fishing hut. And we got this uh, off a deer that we found, didn't we? So what I said I was going to do was live here for a little while, explore the area. Uh, we do need to cook up some water, because we have none. So we have, like, not even a quarter of a litre. So that's the first thing we need to do, is, is cook up water. Uh, and we'll cook this venison while we're at it. Uh, yep, I drank all the water, and it didn't quite save me, so I do need to get a fire going. But I've got plenty of fur wood and stuff. Uh, I doubt I caught... oh yeah, the deer hide's curing. I doubt I've caught a rabbit. Sorry, sorry, I've got... oh dear. I do apologise. Uh, I don't think I've caught a rabbit yet, but I'll check. Uh, because if I have, I'll be able to cook that as well. And in fact, if there is a rabbit out here, I'd really like to catch it and cook it now. I don't want to... Oh, my word. D okay, did I catch a rabbit? No. Can I run? Yes. Okay, let's see if we can... Uh... It's not cold either. Let's see if I can get some stones. I think there were some stones down at these graves. Make sure there are no wolves in the mist. Yeah, so I'll get some stones and maybe I can creep up on a rabbit. Uh... Got to remember what all the controls are for crouch and sprint. Okay. So I'll grab a couple of... Sorry. I've just been playing that... I've just been playing that other game where E is pick up. Silly me. Uh-huh. Nope, don't think we need that. Yep, that's the weapon we need. Okay. So... Oh, we can't sprint. Oh, I have so much stuff on me. Well. Alright, I guess I've... Guess I tipped the scales on that one. Let's just get up here and dump some stuff at the door. I don't want to have to load into the cabin. Let's just dump some of our wood and we'll pick it up on our way back in. Alright. Okay, so we're hunting wabbits. There's one. There's another one. Alright. Now hopefully, because there's no wind, they won't smell me. And because there's fog, they'll be less likely to see me. And I'm crouching right now, but I have to remember how to uncrouch and sprint at them. Ugh, they're just it's head on collision. Psst. It's like two aeroplanes. It looks like they're going to hit each other and then they don't. I'm going to try and go for this one. I'm getting around the back of him. Uh, I'm not sure how close I should get. Actually, you know what? Hmm. I want one of them to turn back around. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's try this. Damn it. I wonder if the other one ran away as well. I've got a few stones. I've got, I think, four stones. Nice weather for it, though. Okay, here's a rabbit. Here he comes. I'm kind of, I think maybe you go for the thumb. He's so far away, though, you know? Oh, here comes the other one as well. well he, if he runs straight at me... Ah. 
Got him. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, we still have a couple of stones. Maybe we can go for gold, get this next rabbit. He went off this way, right? He didn't run behind me or anything. He ran off in this direction. Yeah. Because if I have a couple of rabbits and I cook it all up at once, I know the meat won't last as long. Uh, but I won't have to start as many fires. Try and sneak up behind him. Damn, that landed just behind him. I think I have one left. <laughs> he ran away and immediately turned around and said, No, I want to actually head back towards the guy that tried to kill me. Can I pick up this stone before he gets close? So that I have a spell? Well, that didn't go well at all. I accidentally threw the damn stone. Yep, that's what I need, a rifle. Blow him away. Hey, it's not cold. And, uh, you know, it's the evening, so I can head inside shortly and just chill out. I'm trying to make it easy for you, rabbit. If I don't get you now... There we go. If I didn't get you now, then the, uh, <laughs> the trap would get you, and that would be a much more unpleasant death. Uh, yeah, let's pick up some uh, sticks while we're here. You can never have, you can never have too much wood, right? Why, why not pick them up? So yeah, so uh, Ben from Obsidian Pixels, uh, we work together a lot on videos and things, and uh, we're good friends. We played this uh, two-player game that requires the players to have microphones because you use in-game walkie-talkies. So you have to, uh, and you're in different places. So I'm in one room and he's in another room and we never see each other. Uh, so I have part of the solution to a puzzle and he has the other part. And uh, we have to work together with good communication, uh, allowing one person to talk and not talking over each other, uh, like a real radio, to solve the puzzles before time runs out and so on and so forth. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Don't worry, you've not got far to go, my dear. It was fun and harrowing as soon as I realised that when Ben said there was a ticking clock counting down to his doom, he wasn't being metaphorical. There was an actual ticking clock. I didn't realise. Whoops. Okay, I need to... I wonder... Yeah, can I put... Um, I don't think so. I wonder if I can put meat in the cooking pot and make a stew or something. Probably not. But I'll try. Um, there seems to be no difference. I'll use the birch bark. Yeah. Uh, 55, 40, 35, 55. Okay, so the stick is the same as the cedar. I'll remember that. Let's, uh, let's use the lower chance because I'm in no rush right now. I don't mind using those ones up. All right, I'm going to check to make sure I'm recording. I'm recording. Good. <laughs> what happened was I was recording in the other video with Ben, but I had turned off the video feed for the game, so all you saw was my face on the whole recording. It was just my face. You could hear the game. Everything was fine. <laughs> but no picture. Silly. I realised when the recording was 300 megabytes instead of 3 gigabytes, you know? All right, we're going to be making some uh, water and stuff. So let's, uh, there we go. We got a good, good solid three hours there. Now, oh, I can put it in there. Time to cook one hour, three minutes. Okay. What if I just put it on, oh no, it'd be under food, wouldn't it? What if I just put it on the uh, thing? Okay. Oh, they're different sizes as well. Let's, um... Okay, so the 800 calorie one is 1 hour 15 minutes. So that's... Uh, wait, hang on. Neither of them are 800 calories. Oh, I guess that's what I get out of it when it's cooked, right? Uh, okay, so the one that weighs 1 kilogram is 1 hour 15 minutes. Okay. 
I can't tell how much they weigh. Gosh. I'm trying to be methodical here. Let's just drop one of them. This one. Alright, so that's one hour, 15 minutes. And if I place it on here, it'll be done in one hour, 34 minutes. So it actually cooks a little quicker in the pot. Uh... I'll remember that, but for now I'm going to cook both of them uh, as this, because they, they cook in roughly the same amount of time. And then afterwards I will uh, I'll, I'll get some water going after I've cooked this. Uh, Alright, so how long will this take? Oh, wow. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Um... Okay, how long will these take? 1 hour 14 minutes. So I want to not take more than uh, 1 hour 14 minutes. So I'll do just these and not the guts. Okay. Oh, you can hear the meat really getting going there. <laughs> it really changes in pitch when it's almost cut. Oh, it's dark. This doesn't light the room as much as you'd think it might. It really doesn't. Quite dark. She is. Huh. Anyway, let's see. Three minutes. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll just wait for this. Guess I can just do that. Take it, and uh, I'm gonna cook some water up, uh, just as much as possible. Thank you. Okay, so I want to make sure I don't run out of time. I'm gonna be cooking up quite a lot of stuff here. So we have three hours. Wait for that to be ready. Take that. Now the question is, uh, do I cook the rabbit or more water? Let's see how long the rabbit takes. One hour, nine minutes, one hour, two minutes. Okay, so I've got an hour. All right, so let's harvest this other rabbit. And if I have an hour, that's about that length of time. I might, I might end up burning the meat slightly, I think. Uh, we'll see. 28 minutes until burned. Okay, so it's not burned. Good. Uh, let's do the same again. Raw rabbit. Make sure we've got enough time. 1 hour 15 minutes. Uh, let's just harvest the guts. Because I do need guts. You need them for a fishing line and something else, probably. <laughs> I don't know. 33 minutes, 20... Okay, well, 33 minutes. Uh, okay, if I want to harvest this gut, I'll use the hatchet. Screw it. Ooh, that doesn't sound nice, does it? Ooh, ooh. Ooh. All right. Great. Oh, that's done. Okay, let's make some more. Uh, and I think that will be it then. Let's wait until that's done. Take that. Uh, I think that's all of our food. We, yeah, we don't have any more raw food. So I'm going to put my other tin can on here and make some more water. Alright, so we've got an hour now. Sorry if this seems a little boring, but it's all part of the adventure. This episode is going to be, a, uh, like, early on at least, a lot of this maintenance of cooking and water. But as soon as, as, soon as we've done this, we're going to go to bed, we're going to get rested up, well fed, and then we're going to get up the next day and we're going to explore this new area that we found ourselves in. Alright, where would this stuff be? Here, here... Okay. There we go. Snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Uh, sure. I just need to get at the second. Why can't? I... Okay. I just need to get at the second rabbit pelt, really. There it is. Just leave it there. It's just guts all over the floor. I get up in the middle of the night to go to the loo, and I just slide over these guts and fall on my ass. <laughs> oh, all right.
Well, let's get all hydrated and foody, fooded up. We'll eat a bit of this food, why not? Uh, we'll eat the smallest thing. 493, 453. Uh, this one. Yeah, why not? Oh, we picked up some herbal tea. How nice. Alright, how are we doing on this? One minute until melted. Okay, so we're going to finish up uh, what we can on this. Uh... Oh, you know, I should, I should put the food outside as well. Uh, if I can find my way outside, I should... You know what? No, we're going to eat it soon enough anyway. I don't need to store it outside. Or at least I'll store it outside tomorrow, but I'll just keep it in my pocket for now. I'll sleep with it. You know, that's that's normal, right? All right, how long have we got? What's weird is, um, it's not making any of the noise anymore. I don't hear the fire. I don't hear any boiling or bubbling of the water at all. And I had that problem yesterday as well. I thought maybe the blizzard was causing it, but I can't hear the water cooking since they brought out this uh, patch. Which is, you know, concerning. 35 minutes. That might be enough time. I don't know. Is it enough time? Probably not. Uh, 34 minutes. 34 minutes and if I can find the can. Alright, let's pass a little time. So we're going to need 14 minutes for it to boil. So let's just make sure it has 14 minutes. 17 minutes. There we go. Oh, that's going to take 35 minutes. Silly me. Alright, let's make sure we have... 35 minutes. There we go. We'll have plenty of time. We'll take that. We'll pick up the can. And we've got uh, 26 minutes. I wonder. Um, 25 minutes. <laughs> I'll add another stick. And we'll just uh, we'll just make a little herbal tea. Why not? I know we're going to get our condition back, but let's just have a spare herbal tea. Uh, maybe we'll leave it in this hut just in case. Because we have spares in the other cabin, but not here. So now we'll have some spares here. Alright, take it. Ah, Pick it up. Starving. Take it. Pick it up. And the fire's going to go out in five minutes. And we are barely able to move. Great. Alright, let's... Uh, have a little drink of water. Uh, let's uh, have a little bit of something to eat just to make her happy. Some nice fresh rabbit. And now we are going to get a good sleep if we can find the bed. All right, the wood stove is there, so the bed must be here. I'm not be able to carry this load for much longer. Wait, what? Oh my God! Is there a cooking pot in here? I mean, I already have mine, though. Yeah, no, there's another one. Okay, hang on. Let's just turn on that lantern for a second because I'm incapable of seeing anything. All right, where was this? Oh, look at that. I need to find a place to rest. Right there by the side of the... Oh, my word. I am blind. Anyway, I found the bed, so... I've lost the bed. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to try and sleep for 8 hours, which should take me to about 8am if this is midnight. Mm, let's make it, no, let's make it 8 hours because she is quite tired. I don't mind a little bit of a lie in, you know, she travelled today, she didn't, she got a lot of work done. She really did. Okay. Alright, yeah, the sun definitely came up. We're not even fully rested, so I'm glad I gave her a rest. Okay. Any. Yeah, that shut her up, didn't it? <laughs> I love that. I love shutting her up. Okay, we're going to store a few things here. Uh, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to carry everything with us right now. Let's just put some stuff in this locker. This empty locker. Oh, hello. Come on, game. There we go. The first time you open the inventory, every time you run the game, it's a bit iffy. Uh, let's just go off what's the heaviest. I don't need to take my pots with me. Um, you know what? Um, the fur wood. 
Oh, what did I? Oh, I still have my gun back. So I really wish it wouldn't unselect the wood every time and hide it somewhere else. I know it's because of the weight, but it's really annoying. I'm going to keep uh, the sticks on me. Uh, oh, I'll put my old boots away. Because we got these sweet new boots. I don't need my tools right now. Uh, I got plenty of bandages. I don't need my jerry can right now. I don't need the antiseptic. This is all stuff I found, you know. Oh, we got that nice new book. I might, I might use that. Uh, I don't need that stone right now. Uh, I don't need that much charcoal, but actually we'll go outside and use the charcoal. I keep meaning to use the charcoal. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to need a can opener right now, to be honest. I wish we did need a can opener, but I only need one accelerant at a time. Uh, water purification tablets. They do weigh quite a bit. I guess I don't need them right now. Oh, I'm going to have to do this. I'll carry that one with me. You never know. I'll get rid of one of these teas. One of the sewing kits. Technically, I could get rid of both. But you know what? Let's get rid of both for now. We're not going to do any random repairing while we're searching the area. Uh, and I'll just... Whoops. See? I accidentally put the wrong thing away. I meant to store that. Um, not that I need the line right now, but... I don't need the herbal tea either. Alright, okay, we're good. Yeah, I mean, we're still almost at the limit of what we can carry. Which seems to be just me all the time. I'm toughening her up, though. I like to have one of everything, you know? As well as a nice heavy gun. Anyway, you want something to eat, lady? Fine. Have some stale beef jerky that you found in an abandoned hut. There you go. Uh, I wish I could see my own legs. When this hide is cured, we're going to go back to the other cabin, regardless of anything else that's going on, and we're going to make those trousers. Uh, hey, maybe we've, um, maybe we've caught a rabbit. Ooh. I should make more rabbit traps, but I think you need metal for that and that's something we need to get from the dam eventually so as i was saying i think in the last episode oh we got one arrow down that's not too bad uh oh yeah we got a rabbit yeah as i was saying in the last episode we're gonna do our thing in this area figure out this little area then we're going to um go back to the other cabin we are going to uh, make our clothes and we're going to pack some stuff at that cabin and we're going to follow the railroad line to find uh, the dam. We're going to go back into the dam. We're going to pick up all the metal we can in there. I'll leave this rabbit out here for now. Hopefully that'll be fine. As well as this uh, f venison. We've got some food with us. Uh, and that was... This is a fridge, right? So that's outside. It's a fridge. I don't think wild animals come after... They might come after the dead rabbit, maybe. But they won't come after the cooked meat. <sighs> Alright. Let's have a look around the edge of the map, actually. Um, I know that there are sometimes, like, emergency shelters... And they're usually in weird corners of the map, and this is literally the end of the map, so maybe there's one up one of these hills. Yeah, so we're going to go into the dam, we're going to get some metal, so that we have metal. Uh, maybe just check to make sure we didn't miss anything in the dam, and then we're going to go through the dam and explore a whole new area. At least that's the plan. We might not make it to the dam, or God knows what might happen. But that's the plan, so... Ah, we really have had a lot of fog, haven't we? Um, just in case I see a rabbit, I'll grab a stone. Yeah, I think I destroyed all of the local indigenous rabbits. I wonder if uh, any more will show up or if they're just gone forever because I slaughtered them all mercilessly. I just destroyed their little ecosystem. 
I got a couple of comments on some of the other videos for this series uh, today, yesterday. Uh, one person commented on my very first video and uh, very kindly let me know that you can make Tinder from sticks. Uh, thank you. I, I did eventually work it out because I'm an idiot and I think I had to look it up and the wiki said, you can make Tinder from sticks. And I was like, oh, I'm so stupid because I was wandering around with more sticks than brains and wondering where I could get some Tinder. Uh, so I worked that out. Oh, look, a branch. Oh, I should chop this up. I'll come back to it later. I'm just going to... Actually, I should see what's over this hill because we came from... Uh, if the cabin's there, we came from over there. So I've not actually seen what's over this hill, have I? Huh. You know, with all this fog, I probably won't see what's over the hill, to be honest. But it's not too bad. So let's see if there's anything down the other side of this hill. We can always hug the edge of the map here to get back if we get lost. What's that? What's that spooky music all about? You just... What are you trying to tell me, spooky music? Just kicking in the vibes, is that it? Ah... Uh... Gosh, that puzzle game with Ben was really fun. You you should check it out. Uh, I do suggest if if you love puzzle games and have a friend that loves them, uh, maybe just watch the first ten minutes of our video. Uh, and if you love it, then like don't spoil it for yourself. Go and play it because it is free on Steam. Uh, we were here is what it's called. Uh, I know that people. What can we use this for? Uh, no, it doesn't say. That's either used to make arrows or a bow. I forget which. Guys, a really big limb here. We're going to chop all this wood on our way back. But I wouldn't mind finding something down here, if there is anything. Yeah, so, and a lot of times people would say on YouTube, like, oh, you should watch our videos. Yeah, and I, I would love for you to watch my videos. It, it really makes me happy when people enjoy them. And that was the other comment I got was someone saying, you know, your videos are great. And that, you know, that makes me really happy, obviously. It's nice to know that someone's getting some enjoyment out of this. But I don't want you to spoil a, an awesome game for yourself. Uh, the puzzles in that game uh, kind of change every time. Like, uh, if it's a combination, the combination will be different. But once you know how to solve the puzzle, the puzzle's solved, you know? Uh, so you should check out at least the first 10 minutes to kind of get an idea of what it's like. Uh, we're not even halfway through it either. We got to the first checkpoint and then called it an episode. Because we're slow and stupid and it took us a while. <laughs> uh, but I did, I had a lot of fun. I figured, you know, I've got everything set up. Uh, I have the disc space, so let's record another Long Dark episode. And here we are. I'm a little more relaxed. Uh, the last two episodes I was a little more hyper, I don't know if you noticed. Uh, but I like to generally be laid back and relaxed when I record this particular series. She's just shivering there to remind me that she's getting a little cool, but still not too bad. Okay, so I'm hearing crows in this general direction. Um, okay, there's two sets of crows down there. Oh! Oh, there's a little, there's a little hut down there, but there are crows, which probably means there's dead deer. And if there are dead deer, what killed the deer? Hmm. Well, there might be dead guys because it's a building. Can't just assume it's deer. That's a, oh, that's a lot of crows though. Uh, yeah, there's a dead deer on the left. See, just above the, that tree. So. Be on the lookout for wolves, because you all know that you spot them before I do. Uh, when I go back, when I know I'm, I've am i been pounced by a wolf, I go back to watch the video again to see if, if the wolf was in frame. And half the time the wolf is like right in front of me, and I just ignore it and turn around. Uh, silly me. And so we don't need to kill another deer now, look at that. I was planning on hunting a deer, but... We're good. I'll take Ooh, it. Ooh, a soda. Alright, I'll, I'll check out this uh, hunting blind. Ah, speaking of bows. A bow! It's in bad condition. Oh, painkillers. I already have a lot of those, but you can always take more. Oh, another hatchet. That'll be good. Um, 
It's in uh, about the same condition as our current one, but you know, it means we can let one wear down. Or we can leave one somewhere if we want and come back to it. Alright, now I kind of want to check out what's under this arch of a broken tree because it looks really inviting, doesn't it? Uh, but also, we're getting quite cold, so I want to head back soon. I wouldn't mind grabbing a few cattails. You can never have too many cattails. Unless you can't sprint, but we're good. So, uh, like any uh, video producer will, will say, please do leave comments. Uh, things you like, things you don't like. Obviously, don't be mean for the sake of being mean, but if you think I'm screwing something up, I mean... Don't spoil the game uh, by saying like, hey, you're right next to this cache of assault rifles or whatever. Uh, I like to figure it out as I go, but if I'm missing some really obvious game mechanic, uh, like not knowing how to make Tinder, and it's something I should really know, then let me know. If I'm being silly or misunderstanding how the new cooking system works or something, do let me know. Uh, yeah, give me cryptic hints because I'm bad at figuring out cryptic hints. So I figure that because I'm halfway cold now, I should head home soon. Because, I mean, frankly, if I headed back now, I would be near hypothermic by the time I got back. But I just want to keep going. I just want to see what's down here. For all I know, I'm headed back the way I came earlier, which is kind of over there somewhere anyway. So I could just be going the long way around. I wonder if this might be... You remember I found a frozen river a while back? And I think I was coming from over there and I crossed and I went back that way and ended up back home. This might just be that frozen river and there's a waterfall up there. So I'm actually going to... I'm going to turn back. I think that's what that might be. Uh, oh look, there's a fence, and if there's a fence there, the broken outposts, I think I can just barely see the radio tower up there, I think the, radio, the broken radio tower's there. Uh, you know what? Let's try and go, go up this rock and draw on our world map, right? Uh, I don't know how well it will work. Uh, oh, there's a dead guy there. I bet we've already searched him, but I wonder, um, is it M for map? world oh, oh look we do get a bit of a map how do i draw on the map is it just in here survey local area okay oh and you can kind of get an idea so that's the camp office and we're here with some of this stuff that gives you a rough idea of where you are we're going to check out this body i think it has uh, crows flying over it and then we're going to head back I'd like to go up there and draw on my map again, but we're going to be close to hypothermic by the time we get home, so I'd rather just get home. Oh, we haven't searched this corpse. Maybe we didn't find it last time. Maybe we didn't come down this way. Oh, see that wolf right there? Yeah, I wonder where he came from. We're going to try and... Oh, two wolves. Oh, dear. I hope I can uh, squeeze on past them. If they don't turn around, I think we'll be okay. I wonder where they came from. I hope there's not three. Usually when I see two, there's actually three. But as long as they don't turn around, I think I can make my way back along here where we came from. Uh, yeah, there they go. Alright, I'm going to assume uh, that, that we're good. Yeah. yeah, it had been a while since we saw a wolf, and here we are wandering around. I know we roughly came from this direction. I don't know if we came exactly from this direction. Oh, sorry, I got an itchy nose. Uh, is this where the blind is? Or was that a bit further along? Oh, there's a rabbit! I don't want to catch the rabbit. If I catch a rabbit now, those walls might turn around. Uh, the blind isn't here. I don't think we came down here. I think we must have come from a little further up this way. Uh, we'll head up the hill. Pretty good visibility. It is a bit foggy, but it's not the worst. We're not freezing cold right now, so... And this is the edge of the world, probably, right? 
Is that the edge of the world? I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> he got lost and he died in in a uh, in the snow. Even though it wasn't that bad, and he thought he knew the way back. I hope I've not been turned around. Uh, there's a logging area. Hang on. Uh, what is that a sign? What's that sign say? Uh, this might be leading up to a, an outpost, maybe. Maybe I did get a little turn around. Yeah, what's this? Oh, there's a bear. I don't want to get close to the bear, but I want to know what this sign says. Uh, I think I can hear the bear breathing. Oh, there's a wolf on the other side of that rock that I definitely heard breathing. Must have been a wolf. Right? Because that bear wasn't close enough for me to hear him breathe. Yeah, I'm a little lost now. I thought I just, I thought I'd just turned around, but I, we definitely didn't come through bear territory. So I don't, I don't know. It's the middle of the day. As long as the weather doesn't change, I mean, we're heading up the hill, right? I mean, that's where we're heading. We're heading up to one of the outposts. I don't know how that happened. Uh, my instinct tells me that I should keep heading uh, like this in this direction, but I could be way wrong. I'm going to have to get better at not getting turned around, clearly, but I'm not too worried yet. Uh, I wonder if this is the destroyed outposts uh, that we passed earlier, and in fact that we came up to just the other day. I think it is, because I don't see it. Yeah, this is the destroyed one. Remember, we were we were here, and we checked out this backpack uh, an episode or two ago. Yeah. So, I mean, I kind of want to head back down there. There's that body we checked out like five minutes ago. Uh, yeah, and is that the river? We We followed the river for a while. Yeah, so I should be headed back down the river that we followed. I think uh, we we followed it from this direction. I know I've just gone in a circle. I don't know how I managed to get lost. Uh, yeah, no, we went through this. Right? We, we I saw that and it looked very inviting from across the uh, way and I think I can almost see the blind further down. Uh, or maybe not. I think I can see the blind right right ahead of us right ahead. Somehow I, I got turned around that last little bit and I went in a circle up there when I should have been uh, going through here. Oh, I hear wolves in that direction. Maybe the wolves spooked me a little bit and I went in the wrong direction because of them. Because yeah, we're good now. I got a little turned around, but we're good. Oh, it's warming up as well. If it keeps warming up, I'll be able to skin this deer a okay. As long as the wolves don't decide they want to come down here. I would like to get another deer hide. I think I'm close to fine in terms of deer hides. Uh, I, oh, there's a wolf right there. I swear that wolf appeared out of nowhere. That, I mean, you know what, if I go back and look at the recording, it was probably there the whole time, but it really doesn't feel like it was. I was just looking in that direction. I didn't see a wolf. Definitely check this corpse. Now, that wolf is going to immediately ping me uh, if I start cutting this up. Okay, so we approached from over that hill. That wolf is moving away. Now, if I... Uh, I mean, it's going to take me an hour. Is the wolf going to approach me and kill me in that time? Um... I would like to take all of it. So it's 1 hour 30 minutes. Or if I take that, 1 hour 1 minute, 1 hour 2 minutes. Let's see what happens. I don't want the wolf to get me. And I want to be able to sprint. Alright, the wolf has not pinged me. And there's a rabbit over there. So I didn't take the guts, but I took everything else. And the wolf does not seem interested. And we're still warming up. So that went well. Phew. Uh, Man, I'm not sure I can carry much more. And if I'm really, really, really lucky, I might be able to get 
one of these rabbits and uh, it will be a super successful trip. And it's a lovely day all of a sudden, isn't it? The fog really cleared up slightly past midday. Will you stop running away from me in both directions? They can't see me, right? They're not running away, running away. Wait, where that where that rabbit goes? He's still behind the tree. Just come back. Oh, just come back, guys. I just wanna I just wanna eat you. I just wanna eat you. There's that wolf over there. Where'd the rabbit go? Rabbit. Oh, he's over there. Oh. Stay behind this tree. Maybe he won't hear me. Get a little closer to him. He's just keeping... He's just still moving, isn't he? He's just going home. He's just commuting somewhere else. Imagine if I'm stalking this rabbit and the wolf's stalking me. Imagine that. Alright, one try. Just one. Damn it. I could have caught him. Oh well. I only had the one stone. Run into my arms. I mean, I, I, I could have just grabbed him. If that was a thing in the game. <laughs> I wish it was. Alright, we're going to get some uh, branches. We're going to head back. I think we've explored this area quite well. Uh, let's get this one first. This seems like a pretty good one. Oh, look up here. Some uh, saplings. And uh, there's the abandoned, uh, destroyed lookout up there in the radio tower next to it that we were just at by accident a few minutes ago. Yeah, this has been a really good trip. Um, we're going to stick around until that one deer hide is cured and then head back to the other cabin, I think. We could live here for a while, but we don't have to. Uh, but I guess there's going to be plenty of rabbits until the snares all break, probably. Ooh, a fur limb. Nice. One hour. Okay, I just have to use the hatchet. Makes sense. Oh dear, I'm getting thirsty. Ooh, sounds like the wind might be kicking up as well. We might be getting ready for a, a weather change, although it's still warm. This is a nice big branch, though. I'm going to get this. Ooh. I wouldn't be able to carry this home. Nice. How are we on running? We can still run. Uh, I think I'm heading in roughly the right direction, right? Kind of this way? I mean, there's the edge of the map. And I think I'm going the right way. We're nice and tired, and it's coming towards the evening, carrying all this stuff. Slowing us down a little bit, but we can still sprint if we want to. We're going to have plenty of wood. We're going to have plenty of food. We're going to be able to wrap ourselves in furs. We'll, we'll make a nice fur throw for the bed. Ooh, it just got, just got nasty, didn't it? It's not cold yet, but it just got nasty. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Oh, I can't sprint now. All right, I'm, I'm, mm, okay. You know what? I, I'm not going to risk it. I could gather more of this wood, but we can't sprint now. And uh, it's getting dark, and it looks like the weather's changing. So I'm not going to bother Ooh. picking anything else up. I'm just going to follow the edge of the map until I find the uh, cabin, which must be down here somewhere, right? We did walk for a while. I wonder if I can find my old footprints, because I think we f we probably went up there following the edge. Yep, all's well. I'm assuming we're going the right way, all's well. I wish I could find my old footprints, they should be here. It's not been snowing or windy or anything. They should still be here. I don't see them, though. Our home has to be over the hill over here, though, right? Has to be. Oh, boy. I'm going to be exhausted. I'm going to get home and just be so exhausted. Oh, look at that big limb. At least we know it's here, right? just want to chop it up right now. I'll take it with me. We keep seeing, uh, like, packs of wolves in threes. Uh, and I don't know exactly how much a wolf will hurt you in the game. But uh, this isn't... We're not playing on easy mode. So I uh, I think two things. Firstly, I think our house is over this hill. 
And secondly, I think maybe three wolves, one after the other, would probably be enough to kill us even if we were in perfect health. So I always, I always get really nervous when I see more than one wolf. Heck, I should be nervous when I don't see more than one because that means where are the others? Whoa, why did the music suddenly get all... I've not heard this music before. It just got really intense. What, because it's night time and I'm tired and hungry and stuff? Don't worry, it's fine, probably. I wonder why the crows are over there. I should be seeing my house over this rise. If I see another open region with just a bear in it, I'm going to be really confused and unhappy. You know, I was checking the weather, and the weather's not always an exciting topic. But it's going to get to, apparently, a week from now, it's going to get to 31 degrees Celsius. 31 degrees Celsius. That's really hot for Manchester. I don't remember the last time it got that hot. Um, right, where's our house? Should be here somewhere. Uh, I think, yeah, we're in the right place. We're definitely here. It's just behind these trees. There it is. Hey, maybe we'll have caught another rabbit. And look at that. We didn't get cold. It got warm in the end. That was a really successful trip. That was a really successful day. He says, about to get mauled by 12 wolves. I don't think wolves come round here. But equally, there isn't really anything round here either, you know? Except for some rabbits, so... Yeah, it's getting late. But yeah, so y you look at the weather, and it says it's the weather's going to get gradually warmer by a few degrees every day over the next week. I mean, I only looked as far as a week from now. It might get warmer than 31. Wouldn't that be crazy? Uh... Alright, so what have we got on us here? I'm not... Mm, yeah. I'm not going to cook this right now. I'll leave it out here. Uh, yeah, I guess I should just head in. We've got that. Oh, you know what, actually? I should uh, get the rabbit and I should get the pelt and get it... I should get it um, curing, shouldn't I? Honey, I'm home. I swear, if there was someone in here... That would really freak me out. Or if there was someone out here. If there was someone anywhere in this game, it would freak me out, frankly. Ah, a fly. Alright. I can barely walk with this much gear. I wouldn't call a rabbit gear. How many rabbits you pack for your trip? I'm, I use the ultralight rabbits myself. All right, let's just make sure... Okay, we're pretty tired, but... Let's just get everything off this rabbit. As quickly as possible. Hopefully it doesn't say, You're too tired to harvest a rabbit. All right, we are really tired now, though. So we're going we're gonna to drop the rabbit meat outside, where it will hopefully not go off as quick. And then we'll head in, drop the pelts on the floor, go to bed. And I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, what? I'm confused. What? Why does it look like there's a light coming from inside the cabin? Like the place is lit up on the inside. There's no fire in there. What? Where's this magical light coming from? Yeah, I'm gonna do all that and call it an episode. So, uh, if you don't want to watch me putting things on the floor, you can just sign off now, and uh, I'll see you next time. And if you want to see me put some pelts on the floor. Come along for the ride. And uh, I don't know what I'll do next episode. I won't record it tonight and I'll just have a think about it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure yet. But it's going to be exciting. Whatever it is. Oh, we got all these. All right, so the birch saplings uh, are used to make, I don't know. I think because we have four of them, that's probably for the arrows. And I bet the Mabel sapling is to make a bow. We already have a bow, though, so that's good. Alright. 
damn fly buzzing around me. You know what? You deserve something to eat. Not that MRE though, just two tins of sardines. And then clamber over to the bed. Ah, oh, look at that. It's the evening. It's the perfect time to go to bed. It's going to get a good 11 hours. 11 hours sleep. Let's see where that puts us, and then I will call the episode once we know where we're waking up. 11 hours. Has the sun come up? Who knows? And... Kinda. 20 days. We've survived 20 days. That's a lot. Damn it. I'm so hungry. I'm pretty hungry too. And with that, I bid you good night, folks. Thanks for joining me. Come back next time where we do something. See ya.